It's the Christmas break. You've made it to the end of term with a mixture of alcohol denial and the promise of free and continual mince pies in the staff room. You've survived tantrums and tears from your line manager. Sat through the Christmas concert near the child singing the alternative lyrics to carols boisterously, yet pleasingly accurately, without smirking. And listened to three hours of teachers talking about nothing but teaching at the staff Christmas do without physically shaking anybody to snap out of it. You also narrowly averted that student with the unauthorized phone, uploading the video to social media of your momentary lapse at the Christmas disco when you decided to strut your funky stuff. All in all, a good first term. Take pride in your achievements. Although, that teacher next door has already got her displays up for next term. Blast! So what have you got to look forward to now? As the adrenaline drains from your weary, workbook-laden arms, your body finally gives up and succumbs to whatever bugs your pupils have gifted to you on the last day of term, and you spend the first days of the holiday in bed wondering whether you'll make it to Christmas. Once you're up and about again, you inevitably must join the throngs of Christmas shoppers to try to fit the majority of your gift-buying into the few days you've got left. Well, you've been teaching, haven't you? But you doubt your family's going to be willing to share your secret Santa present again this year. Putting up a few modest decorations shouldn't be too difficult, but, as you're a teacher, and therefore score highly on the OCD index, everything must be in its proper place, symmetrical, and equidistant. And then there are those, um, people, um... Oh yes, your family that you've barely seen since September. While you love them dearly, you're not used to them, and they're certainly not used to you being around the house for extended periods. And as the long, wet days and cold, dark nights tick by, the passive-aggressive teacher look over your glasses becomes less and less effective at quelling the disobedience of the household. In the dead days between Christmas and New Year, you attempt, in vain, to shut yourself away and get some schoolwork done before the worry turns into panic that you only have two days of holiday left to get it all done. The night before returning to school is a special time for teachers. The mixture of guilt, worry, and a strange sense of reluctant belonging means the sleepless night before new term phenomenon is almost inevitable. Luckily, you have a nice, non-taxing inset to doze through in the morning. 